Strange animal kills have been found across the United States for a long time and are normally dismissed. However, in recent years with the advent of the ever-pressing awareness of the North American hominid known as Sasquatch or Bigfoot, it is becoming more and more apparent that such strange kills are the work of these hominids. Mateo Arguello, the founder of Modern Explorer, came across these odd deer kills in the mountains of Colorado and didn't know how to categorize them and box them up in a far corner of his mind. It was not until 2012 that an encounter with the NAH changed his perception and paradigm of the wilds forever. However, it was not until much later that he decided to face those fear by conducting his own long-term investigation in the same area he had his first encounter at. He went to the same area every other night for three months before interactions occurred. Afterwards, every single night for a month and a half pebbles would hit the jeep him and his girlfriend were staying in. These nightly visitors would also look in the windows and smack the door to get the attention of the two. This is where Mateo uncovered physical evidence in the woods that these nightly encounters were occurring from, like nest sites with strange unrecognizable hair, hand and foot impressions and on top of that strange deer kills that still have not been able to be explained to this day by wildlife professionals. This was all documented in a documentary that can be found on the YouTube channel. Now that you have context let's begin the specific story of one of those nights out there with an as of yet unverified humanoid species. Many nights leading up to the first rock throwing, a large buck would come through the same route near the jeep and Mateo curious about the deer's reaction would always try to see how close he could get to this deer before fleeing. The large buck was not afraid and normally Mateo would only get within 5 feet before not daring to push closer. The buck was not afraid of him, in fact Mateo began to throw pebbles at the deer the way pebbles had been thrown at him during his first encounter to see if there would be any response from the buck. The buck didn't flinch or even acknowledge Mateo's presence. This became a regular ceremony for the three months before the group of Sasquatches moved in. Once those North American hominids came in and started interacting with the jeep all the deer that would normally lay and graze nearby at night left within two weeks, on some nights the small herd of deer would stand right next to the jeep for hours waiting at the silent predators lurking in the forest throwing pebbles at Mateo and his girlfriend. Every morning around 5 a.m. Mateo would wake up and do a walk through of the immediate area, probably walking about half a mile in a radius noting any new changes. Sometimes there would be new manipulation of the environment, some early mornings the Sasquatch were snapping limbs that Mateo would hear and upon investigation would find entire trees or bushes snapped like an angry fit had occurred. Part of the walkthrough took a trail that looped around back to the jeep. This was Mateo's first interaction during the day, as the rest were at night or warnings he was getting to close. This was different, this time as he walked down the trail. There was a small open space in front of him and a hill to his left that went up to lots of brush and trees that did not allow visibility to seem very far. As he walked to the edge of this clearing he heard something hit behind him, looking back he wondered if it could be a deliberate throw from an intelligence or was it perhaps just something that shook loose and fell from a tree. Turning around Mateo continued to start walking again and all of a sudden in the same spot something else was thrown. Once was a coincidence, twice. Well now that was enough proof for Mateo to start considering this was an interaction occurring. However this had never happened during the day and he couldn't figure out why this behavior was happening at this time. He looked around trying to find an answer. He was not about to go up the slope where the debris was coming from, he had made that mistake in years past with consequences. Upon his survey of the land there was a small clearing in front of him where he saw that very same buck he had interacted with for a couple months. Now that very same buck was walking right towards the hill that Mateo suspected a Sasquatch was waiting in hiding. He quickly concluded that the Sasquatch was hunting, and that he had built enough rapport with this hominid where it felt comfortable enough to engage Mateo during the day. Especially with such a tasty opportunity walking right into its grasp. Mateo got excited and was thinking of the best strategy to outflank and push this buck into the woods where the Sasquatch lay in wait. 
it was Mateo's hope that if successful this might forge a stronger bond with this family of North American hominids. The wind was in the Sasquatch's favor, the buck was about halfway through the meadow when the wind changed and started coming down the hill. That is when this buck stopped dead in its tracks and sniffed the air. Its eyes widened in horror and Mateo says he never saw a deer run with so much speed and urgency in his life. In fact, normally with people in this region a deer is more likely to run about 40 feet before stopping and grazing again. Mateo determined to see how far this buck went and ran after it. He saw it up on the other side of the valley and was already a quarter of a mile away within minutes. If this was not even more proof of the extraordinary event, Mateo did not know what would be more convincing besides a visual. That was just one of many events that occurred during this one and a half month period interacting with a family of Sasquatch. Thanks for listening, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and turn on notifications. That is your chance to be rude. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead everything you know that you could get don't let them guide your life towards regret i'll fight for what i love with every breath